starting on your journey. I said, the kids are fighting some of the most wicked warfare I've ever seen. My whole life, I never wanted to be a cat or a dog. <laughs> I've watched cat dogs, and I was like, they never cool with them like that. <laughs> but like the said, it, it, it's something running rampant. And if you don't know what one of the definitions for sin, it's an animalistic nature. That's what it's called. That's, that's, what, that's one of the 28 definitions of sin. The animalistic nature, and it's running so rampant that the kids are just trying to be animals. I don't know. You gotta carry a water bottle with you and spray them, I guess. Yeah. Instead of mace, you gotta carry spray bottles. <laughs> you know, I start spraying them with pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> I carry bear mace. Wake up! Yeah, Aaron, just give me a good idea. <laughs> but it's not just that. The drugs are running rampant on people. The faith in the church is low. Oh, that's right. It's, yeah, it's okay. low. Ooh. I don't want to say that it's short because we still get, we're still enduring. But once you go through so much warfare, eventually, if you're losing the battle, they sound a retreat. I said, in our kingdom, we're never supposed to retreat. But in our flesh, we got to take a step back. Amen. I said, in the spirit, that's why it's so good to have a, a whole church body full of believers, you know, brothers and sisters praying for you. Because whenever you're not feeling it, they're going to be praying for you. Yes. When I, when I can't pray for a miracle in my own situation, I got a bunch of people praying for me. That's right. Amen. I said, I got. I got all my sisters in, in, in California. They, they always tell me, Ryan, we're praying for you right now. And I'm like, man, thank you. feel good about it. Mm-hmm. I said, even if they don't ever tell me, and I know somebody's praying for me because I'm still standing here, praise Jesus. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but the faith in the church is dwindling down low where everybody's starting to retreat. Uh-huh. And then, well, you don't want to see the whole church in retreat. That, that's what you call defeat. That's not right. I said, we don't stand yes. in that. We stand in a promise of victory right, through the right. shed blood of Christ Jesus. So one of these things when I was sitting there these past few months, I'm like, oh man, I don't want to move. I had to get gotta get out of the rut. Gotta start getting into the word again. Looking at it like it's like it's milk. I said, if you ain't never studied them old battlefields, you get milk on the battlefield, you gravy, baby. Yeah. Because before that's all you got was bread. If you was high up, you might have got some cheese. What is cheese? Little dried up milk. But if you have some milk, you're going to fight good. Your bones going to feel good. I don't know if you've ever been real thirsty. You had a bowl of cereal in the morning. You feel happy. Unless you eat Captain Crunch and it tears up everything. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, you see a lot of the church in a state of retreat right now where they're going back, back to what they used to do. We call that backsliding. Mm-hmm. But uh-huh. they don't have any other. Anybody sitting there like we do praying for them? That's right. I said, how many of y'all know that in the scriptures it says the devil walks around like a roaring lion seeking who he may Yes. And he's looking. <clears throat> and have you ever studied the lions in the kingdom of Africa? Mm-hmm. They don't ever go for the strong gazelles. Boy, they don't need to catch the fastest gazelle. They got to catch the slowest and the weakest one. And that's the one that's usually separated from the herd. Mm-hmm. It's just a straggler way back there. And that's you whenever you start trying to backslide into the world again. Uh-huh. I said, if I started smoking again, nobody's going to pray for Ron. Maybe Grandma would slap me around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boy, we're going to straighten up knock that off. But a lot of people in the church, they're not bold enough to tell somebody in high standing that they're doing wrong. That's right. That's, and right. that's why we True. got a lot of children that are raising up in the church. But they have no correction in their spirit. That's right. They have no oh. correction in their heart. So true. They have so much, you know, they have so much knowledge of the word because kids are smart these days. Yeah. You can Google anything right now and you find it. I said, if I if I'm looking for a scripture and I, I search for it and I can't find it, I type three words in and it pops up on Google. It'll tell you Matthew 22 and one or something. It'll tell you right where it's at. Kids, they know this and they study. They're smarter than we'll ever be. I said, my kids do some of the weirdest things. Esther can't even, couldn't even write, but she was finding things on the internet. She can't even spell good, but she was finding it. I don't even know how they was finding it. I said, I can't get on to them for searching for funny videos if they they found it. But they would say, let me show you this video, and they pop right up. Yeah. What in the world? You can't even spell, woman. <laughs> the way of, of, the, of man is that we're going to continuously advance. We're never going to stop. I said, but once the retreat hits in our spirits, we get to a state of, uh, 
but he would, I wouldn't call it depression, 